course, uh, Mr. Jackson was filming you appear in the, the Lord of the Rings. I mean, that was a, um, a very worthwhile win. And, and I, I think oh, something yeah. that, I mean, it's a huge cinematic achievement, isn't it, you've been involved in. Hmm. It's epic in every it's sense. Massive, yes. And you know, in a hundred years' time, they'll, they'll, they'll show that trilogy, and people will be saying, Who's that man playing Gandalf? <laughs> I mean, it's a wonderful thing about immortality. Well, I it? wonder whether that'll be true. I, I think mean, it will I, be. I, it's always been in the back of my mind I would like to have been in Casablanca, you know, to be, to be in just the sort of film you're talking about, the people yes. go on watching and watching and watching, but I wonder whether a, like, even like that film ours might not date quite quickly. I mean, that's in black and white, isn't it, Casablanca? Casablanca is. You know, maybe 3D is going to come back to the cinema and suddenly Lord of the Rings will look a bit old-fashioned and oh, uh, ma maybe people have been rather nostalgic about it than caught up in the excitement of actually being in Middle Earth, I which just, they are at the moment. I just think it's, it's not about that, it's not about mm. Tolkien or anything, it's about the cinematic achievement of what yeah. he's done. Yeah. I think it's the canvas he's painted mm. it on, I think it's just, it's never been done before. Well, I, I agree, and, and, and uh, people should go and see it in the cinemas while it's there, because I'm... Uh, People will get it on DVD mm. and watch it at home, but that's not the place to watch Lord of the Rings. You must see it on a massive that's screen. That's right. The and and, and every and all that. Uh, the soundtrack and yeah. every little corner of the screen is filled with life, apparently. Yes. yes. Uh, although much of it was created inside a computer, which <laughs> is magical to me. <laughs> Did you? Uh, he's doing next King Kong. Have you auditioned for him yet for that part? Um, yes, I do. What? Yes, I'm always auditioning. I, I, I was sitting on the front row at BAFTAs, and, and there was Peter just behind me, so. I'm <laughs> I, I turned around and did my, did my monkey face, but I, I, I don't know. What about, uh, what about Gandalf? I mean, have we Wait seen the last... We haven't, we haven't mentioned Johnny Morris, have we? Well, why should we? Well, well because I'm thinking of, <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of gorillas. He, he, he had a charming programme for children in, in which he had animals on each week and... Um, animal magic? Was it called Animal Magic? Yeah. Animal Magic. Yeah. And, and uh, th this, this week he'd, he'd gone down to Bristol where, where the, the, the gorilla had had a baby. <laughs> and, uh, of course... Perfect for a kids' television, and, and Johnny Morris was dangling this little uh, this little gorilla on 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 his knee and, and cosseting, and over in the corner the camera kept cutting to <laughs> the mother who was watching him, watching this going on. Now, now you be Johnny Morris uh. and dangle the baby, and I'll be the mother watching. Uh. I've done that impersonation for Peter Jackson, but it's not getting me work. No, 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 no. <laughs> what about, I mean, you spent, of course, one of the things about doing the Lord of the Rings, the, the trilogy, was that you spent a considerable amount of time in, in New Zealand. Yes. And I met you over in Australia recently. Yeah. I took you to a cricket match, your you first day-night game. I said to him, I said, look, <laughs> we're going to guess the Australian cricket board. It's formal. I said, so there's a dress regulation. It's boring, but you have to put a tie on and you have to have a suit on. So he turned up, and I got my back to the door, and I knew he'd enter because it was a deathly silence. <laughs> and he turned around, and he got a flat cap on, he got a white on my jacket, and purple trainers. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> But they didn't mind because it was Gandalf, wasn't it? You see? Yeah, it was, I was the only properly dressed man there. I you were. I mean, you everyone were. was in a state of undress. I mean, you didn't have a tie. Oh, yes, you did. I did. I, I think you'd taken yours off by the time I got there. Yeah, no, and I'm sorry about the, the clothes. But. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you started a new fashion. And they'll, they'll serve me a while before they get over it in that box, that's for sure. <laughs> but, but what about the, about the, the, the notion of, of Australia? The first time I think you've been there, wasn't it? To, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and people have preconceived notions, don't they, about hmm. places like Australia? Did, 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 in fact, were they fulfil these preconceived notions, or...? I suppose most of us think that Australians are rather brash, don't they? And, and, yeah. and uh, you know, uh, out, out with it, and, uh, and, and perhaps a little bit disrespectful and so on. Turns out that those are just the uh, Australians who are exported from the place, and the, and the, the Aussies I met were all to, to a man and woman, absolutely charming and sweet, and... Uh, very concerned that you should like the place. And the first question they always ask is, I, I, I enjoy Sydney? Mm. And I kept thinking, well, do I say that when people come to London? No, no. What I say to people who come to London, I start apologising for the place. <laughs> saying, sorry about the rain, sorry about the public transport, sorry about the government. You know, <laughs> and uh, mind you, we won't get into politics. No, right now, well, right. maybe later on.